Fußballstage. The bruise was about this big. That's a pretty big bruise for a four-year-old. It was blue and purple. And yeah, that looks like a beating. You didn't spank him? You didn't whip his butt? like that. Who whipped him? He said my daddy. I did Where's not do bruises? it. He came home he with bruises. You? How did it happen? I don't know. Any chance that your girlfriend's doing it? I love her son like he was my own. I wouldn't do nothing to hurt him. And you took a lie detector test before the show? Yes, we both. OK, there's one more person that could abuse the son, because you have a new boyfriend. Who do you think is abusing this child? Let's find out. You are a coward! In my heart, do I believe that she's abusing my son? Yes. I do. Have you ever abused Samson? No, I haven't. Well, how is my son going to get a black eye, a bruise on his leg, and a bruise on his back? You're my best friend, Sam. I would never How is my son going to have bruises on his body? You know, he jumps. Sam, you seen him do it. He's jumped out of his career. That was 11 months. 11 months. And you took the slide detector test. I'm not the kind of person. I'm not going to hit somebody. But I'm kind of like picking something up from you. Like, you want to say something? It's always best to do it before the results. My guest is Amber. Amber, why are you here? I'm here because I want to see if Josh is a re really abusing my four-year-old child. And Josh is who? His daddy. And this is your former boyfriend? Mm-hmm. And how long were you with Josh? I was with him five years off and on. Five years? And how was the relationship? He's really aggressive and pushy and... But at, for five years, you were with him. He's a bad anger problem. Bad anger problem. So you have a little boy? Mm hmm And how old's your little boy now? Four years old. Four years old. When did you and Josh break up? Well, we tried it again last year, and it didn't work out, so... So you broke up, you got back together. About a year now. So again. now you've been broken up for another year. Now, why do you say that he might be abusing your son? Because the big old bruise that was on his butt. He's got a big old bruise on his butt. I mean, it was blue and purple and, I mean, just all, all different colors. And then you look How on the other cheek. How big was the bruise? The bruise was about this big. That's a pretty big bruise for a four-year-old boy. And if he would have failed, like they're saying, he would have had to fall and then fall and then fall and then fall. Yeah, you could do pretty much to you want to your butt. It's hard to get a bruise on it. I mean, a real and big bruise And then on like the that. other side of it, you see, like, welt marks going this way, so like as of a you, belt. And, and, and your son lives with you? And mm -hmm. this has happened on a visit with Josh? Yes. How did you notice the bruise? I noticed it because when I went and got him, and he had to use the bathroom, he brought him in the bathroom, and he pulls the, his pants all the way down. My son does the same thing. <laughs> and then, um, so I seen it, and I was like, oh, my God, what happened? He said, my daddy whipped me. So I said, well, why did he whip you? He's like, because I was jumping on the bed. I said, well, what did he whip you with? A belt. You, did you confront Josh mm -hmm. about the bruise, and what did he say? Well, he was in jail. When he got out, I confronted him about it, and he admitted to whipping him. He said, yeah, I whipped him, but not hard enough to leave a bruise. Was he ever physically abusive to you? Yeah, he went to jail for it before. Oh, he went to jail <laughs> for hitting you? Yeah. What, did, what, what would he do to you? Just, like, slap me and push me and stuff like that. And but, then you stayed with him. And then we'd get into the moment. And... <laughs> That's why I'm not with him, so give me some props on that one. I'll give you some props. <laughs> um, overall, how would you say he is as a father? Is he a good dad? Well, on that one, Does he take I don't think hunting? he's that good of a <laughs> father because he don't pay no Fishing? child support. He don't help his son. He don't do nothing for him. And He doesn't was, give you child support? No. There he was times that what he What I'm saying is, does he take his son to, you know, ball games, spend time with them? No, he doesn't. <laughs> No, that's funny, but, um... <laughs> okay. Um, so, but he doesn't spend a lot of quality time with his son. And the only reason he is now is because his girlfriend is making him. I guess, is there any question in your mind whether she's disciplining your son? She might be. So he took a lie detector test, and what if it would happen if uh, he took this test and he fails that... Because he told you no, it, he didn't do this, right? Yeah. And if he, if he comes back and he failed, He's this not test. seeing his son no more. He's not going to see no. his son anymore. Since this has happened, he ain't seen his son. What's that? I said since, since all this happened, he ain't seen his son. And you just have the one child together? Mm-hmm. Okay. Amanda, his new girlfriend is mm -hmm. here. Let's find out what she has to say.
Ever. Don't swear. Fine. You know it's a lie. Right, listen. That's why he We're went to go get his son every weekend yeah, okay. and tried to take him to a park. The only reason he's even he in that baby's life is because you're making him. No, he I ain't. never seen that kid before you came around. Mm -hmm. Never. There was times he ain't seen That's that kid. That's a dang lie because when I, met, when I met so him, he had his son. So you need because you don't know what you're talking that, about. Okay. You we're don't the, even know We're him. not going to hit each other, right? Because... <laughs> no, I'm not trying to go to jail like she... Well, but the point is, yeah. we're here because somebody's hitting a child, and we don't want to compound the situation by hitting each other, all right? We're adults. <laughs> I did Where's not do bruises? it! He came home he with told bruises! You. How did it happen? I don't know. There's one more person that could have used the son, because you have a new boyfriend. <laughs> Who do you think is abusing this child? Let's find out. You are a coward! <laughs> Do you ever uh, discipline the little boy? I put him on his knees and I have popped his butt like once or twice with my hand, but I have never left a bruise on him. Okay, no, hold on, hold on. Uh, say that again. I had popped his butt once or twice with my hand, but I have never left a so, bruise like, and I put him on his knees. You put him on his knees? Yes, that's how that I discipline. Mean? Like, you put him on the wall. We tell him nose in the hole because, like, so you we have, like, a So you sink on your knees and face the wall? Yeah. Okay. You're not spanking the crap out of him? No, sir. Okay. Now, she says, after a weekend of being with you guys, that uh, he comes home, pulls his pants down all the way. He's got a huge bruise. Now, mm -hmm. when we say, we're not talking about a little bruise like a quarter size. She's saying it's, like, this big. She has a picture now, I, and I've, for obvious reasons, as a four-year-old little boy, we're not going to show uh, his uh, butt. But look at the bruises on that. That's not a normal bruise. You know, here's a huge bruise, yes. and then it looks like there's some welting on the other cheek. How did that happen? She called and told me that was saying Josh had whipped him. And I didn't see Josh. And that's what it looks like. I didn't see Josh whip him, so I have four other ones, and she was right there when I asked him. So if Josh, if Josh didn't whip him, whipped him if Josh didn't whip him, and you didn't whip him, who whipped him? I have no clue. I mean, though, that welting, that bruising on his butt came from somewhere. If I saw somebody do that to my son, and my son oh, had yeah, those marks, no, I've, I would be furious. I got <laughs> You know, we're talking about a little guy this big. Do you put hot sauce in her son's mouth? No, sir. Does Josh put hot sauce in his mouth? Not that I've seen. He's threatened to do it because he's got a habit of, like, going outside, playing in dirt, and then sucking on his fingers. So he said he would do it to scare him, but I ain't seen it. How was your relationship he, with the little boy? He comes to me. He tell, When I have him, he tells me he loves me. I mean, he so likes So you me. could say it's good or yeah, it's bad? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. I mean, I don't, I mean, I love her son like he was my own. I wouldn't do nothing to hurt him. Okay. And you took a lie detector test before the show? Yes, we both did. Okay. All right, so um, I think it's time to get the Josh. Let's bring Josh up. <laughs> Four years old. Why yeah. would he lie about some and You know how he lies. You know he lies he about everything. He told you. I did Where's not do bruises? it. We told Explain you the dog did it. Explain it then. He was playing, if jumping he on the bed. Off the bed wait, he wait, wait, to fall, wait a fall, second. Fall, fall. The dog no. did it, but I did not do it. <laughs> okay. Now I saw the picture, yeah. and I saw your son's uh, yeah. butt, and. He's got welt marks. Those are welt marks. Yeah, that I looks like it. a beating. Yeah, but he how did went they get there? Her too. I'm asking you, how did it happen? I don't know. Okay, he... we have a four-year-old little boy who has welt marks all over his four-year-old butt. I hear a four-year-old, and he's got marks, bad marks, a bruise about the size of, you know, a plate on his butt, and nobody knows how it got there. Either you're a liar, or you're a liar. Or you're a liar. She's the liar. Okay, we're gonna try to find out who's abusing your child. Do you pour hot sauce in your no. uh, uh, son's mouth? No. Why did he say that? I don't know because yeah, I threatened did to do it. Did you ever happen? No. It so, never but you happened. do you do threaten him with yeah, it. Yeah, I did threaten him to do it because like Amanda was saying. Why? 
because he goes outside, plays with all kind of nasty things outside, germs and everything like that, and then he gets the habit from her to go like this and put his fingers in his mouth. No, you know what? Guess what? Every kid does it. Yeah. You know. And I'm trying to get this guy to do it. Any chance that your girlfriend's doing it? No. When you're not there? How do you know? Because, I mean, I see how she I'm never does alone with, with his son. Let me ask you a question here. That's a good question. What if she fails? This is your girlfriend now. You live with her. What if she took this lie detector test and she fails about abusing your son? I don't know. You don't know? I mean, I know she but didn't do it. What do you know? Yeah. You say you didn't do it, but we don't know. You say you didn't do it, but we don't know, right? And you say you didn't do it. I didn't do it. But somebody abused this little boy. We're all in agreement with that? Yeah. So everybody stand up for the rest of the show. <laughs> it is possible there's one more person that could have abused the son, and that's because you have a new boyfriend. Yeah. She's allowed to have a boyfriend. <laughs> Let's bring him out. His name's Richard. <laughs> now listen. Hold on. Listen to me. We're talking about a little boy getting That's whipped right. up here. So we're not going to have two adults acting like animals on my stage. Who do you think is abusing this child? Let's find out. You are a coward! Well, how is my son gonna get a black eye, a bruise on his leg, and a bruise on his back? You're my best friend, Sam. I would never How is my son gonna have bruises on his body? You know, if he jumps, Sam, you see him do it, he jumped out of his career. That was 11 months! 11 months! You are dating Amber, right? Yep. How long you been with her? About a year. About a year. Serious relationship? Yep. You live together? Yep. You love her? Yep. The little boy? Love him too. You love him too. You feel take like care of him. You I take care of him? Roof over his head. I feed him. I clothe him. OK. I do that. OK. Not you. Now, explain. You lie. Look at me. You lie. Richard. Richard. You both lie. Richard. Calm down. Richard. Calm down. Look at me. Obviously, you're very angry. <laughs> Tell me, why are you so angry? You seen the picture? Yeah. I was abused myself. You I were know what abused. it's like. So you know what it's like. So knowing what it's like, you would never do that to somebody. Nope. OK. Now, who do you think is abusing this child? That boy, boy, right there. Okay. Oh, really? Uh, now, I got your boy when we get on, to the house. You're not doing nothing when you get home. Stop. Let me ask you. Stop. Yeah, if you go right. to jail, I'm so leaving. So I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> You ever spank the boy on the butt? You swat him on his butt, yep. You swat him on his butt. But you didn't cause that no. by... No, You would agree. You saw that picture. That's not from that's a swat not, on the that's butt. Not, that's not... Have you ever used like excessive force and really cracked his butt? No. Because you could do that now. If you really cranked up and hit that little boy in the I butt. I wouldn't do that. But you didn't do that? No. Okay. You love the little boy. Yep. You would never hurt him? No. Now, that's my little let boy. me ask Man, you a question. Man, we go ride when I'm let home. Let me ask you a question. This is interesting. She's the mom, right? Mm -hmm. And you say you love her. Mm -hmm. She took a lie detector mm -hmm. test before the show. What if she failed? Then we have problems too. She did. You have problems. <laughs> what if he fails? I know he won't. If he fails, then what over. would you do? Over. You kick him out. Over. It's done. All right, let's get to Richard. And, you know, Richard, I got to give it up to you. You, you. You're dating a woman. She has a child. You say that you step in the picture, that he's not providing a lot of financial help. Yep. You go out, earn a living. You're helping her. You're helping yep. with the child. Yep. Good for you. <laughs> you took a lie detector test, and let's find out if Richard's the one abusing this child. Okay, you were asked, did you cause the bruise and marks on Amber's son's buttocks? You answered no. 
are you physically abusing Amber's son? You said no. Have you ever hit Amber's son with excessive force? You answered no. Do you know who caused the bruises and marks on Amber's son? You answered no. Did you fabricate that Josh abused his son? You answered no. And the results for all those questions are, you told the truth. Amber, you took a lie detector test before the show. You were asked, did you cause the bruise and marks on your son's buttocks? You answered no. Are you physically abusing your son? You answered no. Have you ever hit your son with excessive force? You answered no. Did Richard cause the bruises and marks on your son? You answered no. Are you fabricating the story about your son's injuries to get Josh in trouble? You answered no. And the results for every question on her lie detector test is that Amber told the truth. Okay, so last night, uh, most of the guests come in the day before our show, and we gave you a lie detector test and a drug test. Um, they took Xanax, and people that take Xanax before a lie detector test, it's usually used as a countermeasure to beat the lie detector test. So we retested them today with the drug test. The drugs were out of their system, and we gave them another lie detector test. Um, before I get to the results, I just got to ask, why would you both consume Xanax? We didn't take nothing. That's why we don't know no, why it came back No, listen. Negative. You can say that about a lie detector test. Oh, it's not true, it's not true, it's not true. But you took a drug test, and the drug test isn't lying about what's in your <laughs> system. Who That's thinks nice. that they did that for a reason? Okay. Josh, you were asked um, a series of questions. Did you cause the bruise and marks on your son's buttocks? You answered no. Are you physically abusing your son? You answered no. Have you ever hit your son with excessive force? You answered no. Have you ever put hot sauce on your son's mouth? And you answered no. And the results for your lie detector test You are a coward! <laughs> In my heart, do I believe that she's abusing my son? Yes. I do. Have you ever abused Samson? No, I haven't. And you took the slide detector test. I'm not the kind of person I'm not gonna hit somebody. But I'm kind of like picking something up from you. Like, you wanna say something? It's always best to do it before the results. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. But we asked him one more question. Oh. And we asked him, did Amanda cause the bruises and marks on her son? And he answered no. And the results of that is, he didn't tell the truth. Oh. She never even tested him. So it's always, it's nice when you pass the lie detector test and you're telling the truth, right? But she never touched him. That's what but I don't understand. But you failed on that part. Yeah, I don't understand how because yeah, she never touched him. I don't understand either. So let's find out. Let's find out. All right, Amanda, before I read the results, is there anything that you'd like to say? No, because I never touched him. Okay. What will you do if she... Before they ask him. I... It's over. It's it's all over. Yeah. Have a day. I mean, never gonna come back home. All right, Amanda. Before the show, after uh, your drug I test came back clear, we were able to administer a second test to you. 
without the influence of drugs, and you were given a test. And you were asked, did you cause the bruise and marks on Josh's son's buttocks? And you answered, no. Are you physically abusing Josh's son? You answered, no. Have you ever hit Josh's son with excessive force? You answered, no. Have you ever put hot sauce in Josh's son's mouth? You answered, no. And the results for every question that I just read and she was asked, she failed. <laughs> Line you've been hold doing? on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Now, Josh, I have to say the one thing you can't do right now is run away from the situation. You need to go back out on that stage and you better lay down the law and what you're going to do and what you expect because your little son was abused, hot sauce being poured in his mouth, being used excessive force on a four year old. I'm telling you. She didn't do it. I mean, that's, I, I was there with her the whole time. She You're rolling the did. dice. Don't roll the dice with your own children. Don't do it. <laughs> you passed the test, Josh. You know you're telling the truth, right? Yeah. Okay. And you failed about whether you saw her abusing, she whether you know it. She didn't do it. This is your son, okay? Yeah. I'm telling you to stick up for your son. Isn't and that I sad? Am. I mean, no, no you're I not. am sticking up for him. That's no, why I not. said it was over if she did it. But, but you ran away. Yeah, because it's pissing me off. This is it? a woman who failed a lie detector test about abusing your son, and you don't say nothing to her? You just run off the stage? You tell her what you're feeling. I'm not going to tell you what to say, but I want to hear what you got to say to her. I don't know, but just tell me the truth. Did you do it? When you were there? No, no anytime. I have not. When you were you there? You were there huh? with your kid all the time. Yeah. How about just yeah. yes or no? Did you do it? No. When you were there, I didn't do it. He's with his kid when he has them all the time. Oh, you know what? I, I don't I hate his hearing kid. it. It's a weak excuse. You're not I'm there sorry. all the time. I live in my house with my two children, and I don't, don't see them every second, but I don't answer you. What don't you understand? She failed the lie detector test. I see that. OK, you, you know what? Pick a door. You get off my stage. <laughs> We hardly ever, for some reason, we hardly ever do it with men, but we're doing it with you. Pick it our time. <laughs> there, there is a man with no conviction, no willpower. You are a coward. <laughs> Okay, now I'll hope the two of you, and Richard, you seem like a good guy, and, you know, and I could see the passion in you. <laughs> and I could see the anger in you about this whole situation. You got evidence, I would do everything you can oh, yeah. to keep Never your son did. away from Never them did. too. Right. Right. I'm glad you right. came on the show. I'm glad we got to the truth of who's abusing this little boy. At least you know now. I wish you all the luck. Good luck to you. You're my best friend, Sam. I would never How do that. How is my son gonna have bruises on his body? Where is he jumped? Sam, you seen him do it? He's jumped out of his crib. That was 11 months. 11 months. And you took the slide detector test. I'm not the kind of person. I'm not gonna hit somebody. But I'm kind of like picking something up from it. Like, you want to say something? It's always best to do it before the results.
My guest is Sam. Sam, you called the show. Why? Um, because I believe my roommate is abusing my son. You believe your roommate is abusing your son. Yes. Um, and why do you believe that? Um, I go to school for CNA, and I'm a single mother. Why don't you explain CNA, just in case some um, people don't A CNA it. is a certified nursing assistant before they can become a RN. So you're going to school for that. Yes. And does raise your roommate. Yes. And? I just started going to school, and I've known Desiree for two years. I let her live in my house. Like she doesn't pay rent, nothing. She lives there for free to help me with my son. And in the last three weeks, I've noticed she gets really aggravated, him, aggravated with him because he screams. And how old is your son again? He's 11 months old. He's 11 months old. I've noticed he has a black eye. A black eye? Yep. He's 11 months old and he has a black eye? Yep. So you come home, you see your son who's 11 months old with a black eye, what, what goes through your head? Um, well, I ask her if she's abusing my son because he doesn't walk. So you go up to her and say, hey, did you do this? Yes, and she says, no, I did not do this. Well, how is my son going to get a black eye, scratches on his leg, a bruise on his arm, a bruise on his leg, and a bruise on his back? And he can't walk? He cannot walk. And what did she say to this? She said, I never, I've never done it. He headbutts walls. I know he headbutts he, walls? He does. He headbutts walls. Okay, how does he headbutt with an eye? I don't know. <laughs> and how does she explain the scratching and the bruising? He got the scratch from the cat. You have a cat? We have a cat, yes. So it's possible? No. They're blood. A cat. Our cat is very gentle with him. Okay. Does she seem like the type of person that would harm a baby? She didn't at first, and then I called one day, or no, she had called me one day, and she's like, come home, I can't, I can't take this, your baby won't quit crying. And she started screaming like, why the hell are you crying? And she slams the door. What did you do? I went off, I yelled at her. I had to leave because I was literally about to beat her ass. Why didn't she just kick her out of the house? She has nowhere else to go. Yeah, but I if she's not, harming your I child. I do not leave my son with her anymore. Oh, I, you put, I put no. my life on hold. I put school on hold because I was in a really bad car accident and I almost lost my son. I sure, I'm, there's no way in hell I'm gonna let somebody sit there and abuse my child. <laughs> so, since you confront her about the injuries, you said I've never no left school. My son. You said I got to stay home. You were here because you want to know the truth. Yeah, and, and she took she, a lie detector test. If she's beating my son, I'm gonna beat the hell out of her and send her to jail. <laughs> so, you know, and I, I look at you and I see a young mother and I see the emotion in your eyes. You have tears, and I, I feel bad for you because it's a tough situation that you're in. But I'm like really hoping this story that this young 19-year-old girl comes out, and I certainly hope that we don't have a 19-year-old girl that's a child abuser. If she is, that world will know. Let's find out. Why the hell do you think I'm doing this? Sam, this is your best friend of two years. I let you live in my house for free. Free. You don't pay rent. You don't pay utilities. I do this by myself. You're my best friend. See, I'm like, whatever. How is my You're son going to have bruises on his body? You were there that day. He got the stupid cut on his leg. It was a freaking cat. Where was the other cut? The other cut. I've never seen a bruise on his back. That's from the couch. How did he get a black eye? How did he get a black eye? It happened in his crib. Like that day, he busted his lip. He had put his crib. I was there. He busted his lip. His crib. What? His crib is a slut. Yeah, he had butts and he jumped. Sam, you seen him do it? He's jumped out of his crib. How the hell are you gonna headbutt okay. a crib okay. from the where... outside? Hold on, hold on. He's headbutting the crib. You're in the crib. Hold on. This is when I have to jump in and put an end to fantasy land. Okay. <laughs> 11th month old baby jumping out of the crib? He is jumped so high, he flipped out of his crib, and she's seen it. Now, I'm the father of two children, but I don't remember my children jumping out of cribs at he 11 months. He stands up and bounces on stuff. He fell off, he's okay. fell, he's looking at the table, and he's split his so, head. Let me ask you, um, like I said, I, I'm sure you heard me before you came out. 
I'm rooting for you that you didn't hurt this child, okay? I don't want you to fail this lie detector test because I would think that's, I think that would be horrible and just, it would kind of make you a monster if you're hurting a little baby. I don't like that, I don't fight. I'm not a violent violent person. Okay. Have you ever abused Samson? No, I haven't. Okay. I've never even smacked his hand before. Well, why would you? He's 11 months old. I don't punish him at all. The most I do is put him in his crib. Again, we're talking about punishing a baby. When you're 11 months old, no matter what you do to that child, it's not gonna understand, okay? You cannot punish it, you cannot discipline it. It's 11 months old. And you took the slide detector test. I'm not the kind of person, I'm not gonna hit somebody. But I'm kind of like picking something up from you. Like, you wanna say something? It's always best to do it before the results. She's your friend, she's letting you stay. You help her out, watching the child while she goes to school. How do you explain these injuries? A black eye. Did you see the black eye? He had a corner right here from his crib. So you're saying the, the crib child... is on the the corners are on the outside of the crib. The, he's still no, got that, he's still got the that kid, bar the, right this there. This is the crib. This is the crib. He's still got bars. What the hell is a bar that's still hooked up to another bar? You're gonna give a baby a it's black a eye. flat piece and it's got an edge on it. Okay, when she called you that time and you were yelling at the baby that you couldn't take it anymore, did you do that? I was telling him to stop crying, but I've, I haven't really like yelled at him and verbally abused him. Now, when you were yelling at the baby to stop crying, do you think the baby understood you? Probably not, no. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel, but hold everybody on. everybody gets frustrated with kids. You put them in a crib and you walk but, away. But That's what I did. You know what, you do get okay. frustrated, but you know, I don't want to remember yelling at my little baby daughter, stop crying. <laughs> Sam is a good friend of yours? Sam's my best friend. She's your best friend? She's not so, even just a friend, she's my best friend. She's she, like my mom. She's like your mom. Would you describe that you love Sam? I love Sam with all my heart. Okay. So you're saying I you would... I that. She, she's like, she's my idol. I look up to her. And you're saying you would not harm her child? No. And you took the slide detector test? Yes. And how confident are you that you passed it? I'm almost 100%. Almost 100%. Oh. About 99%. 99.9, that's pretty good. Let's find out. Now, before, oh, there you just go. letting you know, just, just letting you know, if you fail this, I'm going to beat your ass and yeah. kick you out of my house. Yeah. Yeah. You got to worry about that. I'm not going to fail it. Now, if you pass. now, this is what we're going to do. If she fails, we're not going to have any ass beating going on. But we, what we will do is we'll give you these results. And we'll cooperate with the authorities. I'll and send her to jail. Post, I'll yes, send her to jail. Send her to jail. <laughs> There's a big if you pass, I will personally say sorry to you. In your heart. Well, you know, you've got a lot of, she's saying, you're, you're her idol, you know. In my heart, do I believe that she's abusing my son? Yes. I do, but I don't want to, I honestly don't want to believe it. Okay, but you, you do believe that yep, she is. Yep, in my heart, it. I believe okay. she's abusing my child. Um, anything that you'd like to say before I read these results? Yeah, I'm done number with. Okay. Desiree, before the show, you took a lie detector test and you were asked, have you ever verbally abused Sam's son? You answered no, and we kind of know you did, and that the result is you did not pass. You didn't tell the truth. Hold on, hold on. What? No. But we know that. What? We knew that. You, you admitted it, that you verbally abused it. You were screaming at the child, telling it to stop crying. That's verbally abusing the child. I think you may hit. I was like, hold on, what? No. Verbally. Okay. Okay. He's 11 months! 11 months! What the hell did he do to you? Have you ever physically abused Sam's son? The answer, no. And the result for that question is you did not tell the truth. <laughs> Oh, 
two more questions on this test. And one of them's, have you ever hit Sam's son with excessive force? You answered no. And the results for that question is you did not tell the truth. Oh, have you hit Sam's son with excessive force on more than one occasion? You answer no. And the results for that question is you did not tell the truth. Hold on, hold no, on. No, I want, Steve, I want, you hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen. Steve, I want to never touch this. Listen. I'm not the kind of person. Listen. This is serious now, okay? This is serious. Okay. You know, this, this, is, this is about as serious as it gets, OK? <laughs> Stop saying it. This is a defenseless baby, OK? Defenseless. You are in charge of protecting it. I'm not the kind of person I'm not going to hit somebody. Well, I'll see your I don't believe, court. I don't believe for a second. I don't believe. <clears throat> Even before I opened these results, I saw something in your face. I, 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 you know, I've done this long enough. I was a cop long enough. When I know something's bothering somebody, I saw that something was bothering you. I'm, I'm, I'm not an idiot. If I was hitting her child, I wouldn't agree to come on the show. Because I'm not going to embarrass myself in public like that. Well, guess what? Now you look like well, a why big don't you explain why, how you feel while I question you. Excuse me? I think, I think this, this whole test you think because it is? I'm not going to lie. You're because honestly, if I was going to lie, I wouldn't have came on national television just to embarrass Guess myself. Guess what, well, She's a child abuser! You lost me. <laughs> it's obvious. You have something that's bothering you. You, hit, you feel guilty about something. Whether you believe it or not, there's something inside you saying, I screwed up. I did something bad. Because it's you can't look her in the eye? This Because you know me guess better what? than that. You because all the time, you, guess what? This this got up in my face, I would have swung on you if I was violent. This is You can tell the, the judge this is <laughs> such a jail. <laughs> How did you abuse my kid? What did he do so well, bad you, for you? You know, to you know what? You know what? I'm glad he came on the show. <laughs> I'm glad you called because we're going to stop the abuse to this little baby. We're going to stop you from abusing that baby. We're going to do everything we can to help this young woman cooperate with the police, whatever she needs to do to bring charges against you. And I believe that you are a liar and that you abused the baby, and you could get the hell off my stage. But at least you took action right away. You're one of the smart ones. You're one of the brave ones that said, I'm not going to do anything, make excuses. No, I'm putting my life on hold for my child. You did the right thing. <laughs> what I'm saying is, whatever help that we can extend you to help you through this tough period, this situation that you're in, we're going to do everything we can to help you. Whatever you need from us, whatever you need to help with your child, to take care of your child right now, to get this situation cleared up, we're going to do everything we can to help you, OK? So I'm asking you to be smart, do it the legal way. I'll see her in court. See her in court, and then you'll get your justice, OK?